Thomas the One Show, Episode 11, Duck's Perfect Day. Duck was complaining to the other entrants in the shed. I'm tired of being told what to do by Sir Topham Hat, he said. I want to have a perfect day. A perfect day, said Duncan. What do you want to do on your perfect day? Oh, oh, just some, uh, oh, just some stuff I just want to do since I came on the island of the solar. Well, that's highly unlikely, said, said Emily. I'm sorry to say, but I don't think Sir Topham Hat allows that. I know, said Duck, but, but I really, but I really, but I really should be nice to have one. I would like to have a perfect day too, said Fields, said Freddy. But Sir Topham Hat wouldn't, wouldn't like that either. But then Rose, but then Rosie found this interesting. Well, well, said Duck. I got, I gotta go do my work. I'll see you around. And he puffed away. How about we give Duck a perfect day? Said Rosie. I don't, Ro I don't think, I don't think so. Rosie said Emily. Come on, it'll be, oh, it'll be nice. Okay, she said. And they puffed. And they followed Duck. What are you? Are you two out of your minds? Said Duncan. Ish. Now Duck wants a perfect day, and we need to give one to him. Then one day, Duck. Duck was shun. Team the duck was shun. Was shunting the tar tanker when he saw Sir Topham Hat. Leave that. Leave the. Put the tar. Leave. The, put that tar tank. Leave the tar tanker here, Duck said Sir Topham Hat. Why? said said Duck. Because you're gonna have a perfect day. Yay! said Duck. This is this. This is my lucky day. So he put the tar tanker there and puffed away. But then the cardboard figure of their top of the hat fell over. Phew, said, said Rosie. That was close. Indeed, said Emily. Thank you for supplying the voice, Gordon. You're welcome," said Gordon. But then the workman hit the cardboard figure of their, of their top of hat behind behind the school. Now let's go follow him," said, said Rosie, and they and they puffed off. Hmm," said said Duck. "What's on my wish list today?" Oh look, there's Annie and Clarabelle. I should pull pull them today. Uh oh, said Rosie. That's Thomas's train. And and here he comes right now, said Emily. Quick, I'll have to install him. Hi, Thomas, said Rosie. Uh hey Rosie, said Thomas. Ooh. How you doing? I'm doing fine. Well, how's it going with you? Good, said Rosie. Do you mind if me and Emily can take your train? Oh, sure, said Thomas. But why stop pulling them? Oh, we put them in charge of shunting them for you. That's good, said Thomas. And he puffed away. Phew, said, said Rosie. That, that was a close one. Indeed it was, said Emily. Hmm, I wonder what's next on my on my wish list. Oh look, the fuel cars. I should take those. Uh oh, sir. Uh oh, said. Said Emily. 
I know who's trying. I know who's entering point that today. And yeah, that's that's Cody's train. And 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 then came Cody. Oh, I saw him," said Emily. "Hello, Cody," said Emily. "Hello, Emily," said 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 Cody. "Do you do you mind if I take your do you mind if I pull your train for you?" "Yes," said said Cody. "But but why is Duck pulling them?" "Oh, we're just giving him a test." "Okay," said Cody. And he puffed away. So. So far, so good," said Emily. "Yes, indeed," said Rosie. Then, then Duck came back with the fuel cars. What's the last thing on my wish list today? Oh, oh, look! There, there are some trucks. Uh, said, uh, said Rosie. I don't think, I don't think that's a truck. I think it's a good train. Who cares?" said Duck. It, it has to be shunted, and he shunt them into one line. That's, that's Mur. That's Murdoch's goods train," said, said Emily, and it was. And Murdoch arrived. And out came of Murdoch's cab was none other than Sir Topham Hat. What is Duck doing, Mike? What is Duck doing with my train? Asked Murdoch. But, but then lay trouble. Cranky had dropped the packets on a track, and 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 the train derailed. And Duck was caught into the mess. Oh, someone, please help me. But but Cranky managed to push Duck back on the tracks, and and came. And came back. Duck said, "Sir Topham Hat, what's this all about? I thought, I thought you told me I can have a perfect day. A perfect day," said Sir Topham Hat. "What's this all about?" Then, then he turned to Emily and Rosie. "Uh, we just wanted to give him a perfect day, so we used the cardboard figure of you from Market Day last year. Year, and, 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 and what, Duck?" And what Duck said, and what Duck saw was true, and Gorn supplied the voice," said Emily. "I see," said Sir Topham Hat. But I'm both pleased and cross with, with you two. On the pleased side, I, you, you kept, you kept, you kept, you kept a good job on keeping an eye on Duck. On the cross side, you haven't been doing your work. Yeah. If. Sorry, sir," said the two engines. "It's okay," said Duck. "So, so, and please," said Sir Topham Hat. "If you want, if someone, if you want, if you want to keep an eye on Duck, leave it to, leave it to some other engine who isn't doing any work." "Yes, sir," said the engines. And so Duck had the enjoyable day of his life.